In this video, we are going to install Spring Tool Suite. So, Spring Tool Suite is a Eclipse-based IDE. If you are a Java programmer, uh, you definitely heard of Eclipse. So, Eclipse is the IDE for Java-based uh, coding. So, Spring Tool Suite is based on Eclipse. Uh, it is customized for Spring development. So, Spring team has taken Eclipse as base and then it is heavily customized for uh, Spring. Uh, so, different Spring nature is added uh, and it is, um, it is mainly for Spring. It is freely downloadable from uh, this uh, Spring website. It is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Let's head over to uh, spring.io uh, website to download Spring Tool Suite. So currently I am in uh, spring.io uh, website. Here we have the option to download Spring. We can download Spring uh, STS for Linux. We can download Spring STS for Windows and we can download Spring STS for Mac OS. So based on your operating system, uh, you can download the version. Uh, since I have already downloaded this, I'll skip this download uh, part. So I have already downloaded uh, Spring Tool Suite and I have extracted it. So you can follow the same download and then extract. Once it is extracted, head over to uh, the uh, Spring Tool Suite version. So current version as of this recording is 4.3.1. We will be using this version. And then let's head over to Spring Tool Suite 4 and uh, open this tool. So Initially, it will ask to select a workspace. So by default, uh, for me, this workspace is selected. I'll continue with it. And then we are launching Spring Tool Suite. It, again, it will take a while to initialize the workspace. So here is the Spring Tool Suite console. Um, so let's just uh, go through it. So in the left side, we have Package Explorer. So all our uh, project and related information will be here. This is the area where we have, um, where we'll be having all our uh, Java files as well as XML files and other configuration files. Uh, this part is for Spring Boot. So anyway, we are not using uh, Spring Boot in this course. So this part will be of uh, no use for us. This is the area where it actually um, shows all uh, those things. If, if your project is having any problem, it will be displayed here. Uh, we can read our Java doc at this place and then declarations and then console. So console will be useful, will be coming here again. So all our outputs will be shown here. And the progress tab, in the progress we'll have uh, a different progress information such as, uh, for example, once we build the application or once we run uh, our program or um, for example once maven is building or the class uh, project is getting built all those progress information will be shown here now here is one catch i have downloaded spring tool suite 4 and i as i said earlier we are using spring tool suite in this course uh, first part of this course because in the first part we will be dealing with xml based configuration so in xml based configuration we will be writing our uh, spring definition file uh, which is in xml and then we will be defining different beans and um, all those so initially spring had uh, good support for the xml files you can directly create the xml file and you can select the namespaces and all those stuff but as i found out uh, spring tool suite 4 has actually removed that um, support xml support which you can actually find in this uh, github uh, issues so xml config support in spring sts uh, is version 4 so some they have reported an issue. So we have found one uh, uh, shortcut. Uh, Spring actually uh, provides um, a plugin. Normally Spring Tool Suite 3, which was the previous version, was having this support. So we can actually have that STS3 plugin and then we can um, still uh, get access to uh, that particular uh, XML configuration and XML nature. So Eclipse Marketplace, uh, we have all those plugins and things here. We can download uh, different type of plugins. So our STS3 plugin will also be available here. It takes some time to initialize. So it's uh, it got initialized currently. Let's search for STS3. 
So, STS3 as I searched, uh, so there are uh, two plugins, uh, Spring Tools 3 add-on for Spring Tools 439.0, this, this one as well as this one. I have already installed this. Um, so, what we will do is, uh, once once you see you have, will have this install option, for me it's, uh, since it is already installed, it is uh, disabled. You, you, once you click install, you basically uh, will be seeing something like uh, this. And uh, if you continue, you will uh, you'll get an option something like this. In your case, all the options will be selected, but we don't need all of them. We just need the Spring ID core. If we do this much, then we'll be actually having that uh, Spring support, uh, Spring XML support available.